Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about how you can create the bullet charts which was invented by Stephen Few and here on his website which is perceptualage.com you can actually go and look for what the bullet chart is. So idea is that how you can replicate the bullet chart within the click view so that you are able to show the meaningful uh, visualization based on your complex data. So what it is basically, it is it is showing, let's say here in this case, revenue year to date. And here you have a couple of graphics. The first one is the background, which has some shaded colors, which is indicating in a normal sense, the uh, whether your actual values, which are highlighted with this dark black color, uh, whether on which section it is, whether it is in an extreme section or somewhere on the middle section or the lower section. And the definition, whether it is good, bad or average can be defined by you. Because let's say in case of expenses, lower the expenses, better it is. So you will specify it green. But in case of revenues, the maximum uh, revenues are good. So in, in that case, the outermost green will be the one which you will specify. So the idea is that how you can create such type of chart within the click view and uh, show it for your end users like an advanced chart. All right. So for that, let's move on to the click view and we, I have a small data set for you, which I just created on the fly. And here what I'm saying that I have some department like admin, finance, operations, production and sales. And for all of these departments, I have expenses and I have targets. And the idea is from these expenses and targets, how we can create a Stephen Few bullet chart. So let's go ahead and first of all, create the first chart, which is gauge chart. So let's go into the chart and specify the gauge. Now gauge will going to help us indicating the sections so here in this case you can see it shows green yellow and red so these three sections we are able to uh, figure it out for let go back for the background of the chart this background and this needle so k chart has a needle as you can see it here but we will need to use a different type of chart but not the exactly gauge one so let's see what we have it available within the style so let's select this go to next and we don't need to select any of the dimension as we know and here we will say sum of target because target is what we want to show on the gauges next we don't need to sort anything next here in this case uh, you have a couple of options of uh, you just can take the gauges or you can take this uh, type of kind of a bar chart but mentioned it as a gauge has a needle as well so we're going to select this and make the orientation horizontal and that will somehow represent the background of the or the first part of the Stephen Blue, uh, Stephen Fuse chart where it has background as well as needle to specify the uh, portion of the data and the target. All right, leave it other setting as it is, go to next. And here within the gauge settings, we need to do some sort of settings to make sure uh, we have the right value. So first of all, minimum is zero and maximum should be so here in this case we have targets as our uh, indicators and uh, if we will let's say choose maybe some or max of sum of target then your needle will be always on the uh, on the edge of the maximum value which, which you have it as in a target or you specify with the help of these segments so the idea is that that uh, you increase the maximum chart length by a little bit more than the what the actual target is so that you are able to clearly see the needle uh, somewhere down there on the uh, chart but not right on the edge well you can experiment with it but as a best practice what we can do is maybe we can increase the chart size maximum by 30 percent so multiplying it by 1.3 is going to increase the chart size by 30 percent so that we are able to clearly see the needle which indicates the target and as I'm saying that uh, we need to show the needle. So show needle is good. And within this style, we can select a line. And the color black is good for the needle. The next important part is the segment setup. 
and we want to specify one two uh, so the first segment is lower bound is disabled because we have auto width segment so we will remove this so segment one we want a zero lower bound and it is green that's okay because lower the expenses better it is segment two let's say 0.5 and let's say we specify yellow in this case click okay okay and let's add another segment and make it 0.9 so anything which is beyond 90 percent of expenses let's make it red so click ok and up till now we are good here so let's see how these chart is coming up and click finish all right well that is not what we expected right because we wanted to see the three different segments and line and some sort of values so let's go and change little bit more properties so the first thing is displaying the green yellow and red segments so first segment one is good segment two 0.5 but 0.5 of what well 0.5 of target so what you are going to write is is equals to sum of target multiplied by 0.5 the same thing you will going to write so i'm just copying it and pasting it over here and clicking apply once we click apply it shows the target so let me expand it a little bit all right now we need to show the labels so right click and go to the properties so here within the show scale we will say show the uh, labels on every one major unit and you click okay now you have it but the problem is that you are getting a decimal point well you can get rid of by going into the properties number and integer click apply you have it gone now the next point is we don't need title maybe go to general showing title let's remove that as well as this caption doesn't make much sense here in this case so we'll go to this option caption and remove it click apply so far we have now this background where we are indicating how the expenses should be distributed and what the target is overall so if i go right click select the fields and select departments and try to filter so admin is changing finance operations production sales all of these are properly changing now the idea now what we need to do is add the value for actual expenses which is this so for that since if you go to to the stephen few site and see this is kind of a bar that it has which is on the top of this background section where you have different sections and a needle well what you can do is you can create an, another chart new sheet object chart the bar chart next no need to select any dimension select well sum of expenses click okay next uh we don't need to sort click next so orientation is again horizontal next um here we have the uh, presentation so i think we are good next so within the axis we need to specify again uh, the static max because that's what we have specified for the gauge so here in this case again we will say sum of target multiplied by 1.3 so that both of the axes max axes are uh, same and they are moving in properly or in alignment with what we have so forced zero we don't need to show axis because we want to show it on top of this chart so we are good here um if i see any other property all right uh, i can't think of anything else so click next well we need a black color so generally whatever be the first color it comes as a bar chart so we remove this and select the black color click ok all right and we don't need to show any background so what we'll do go into the background and remove and make it fully transparent click ok um, go to next in expression we don't need anything uh, in font we don't need anything if i go next 
we show it on top of this chart so we are making the layer top and we don't need to show any shadow or border so we are moving it to zero next we don't need to show any caption and that's all finish well what we have is a, a very simple bar chart with the title we don't need that so go to properties time in i'm sorry in the general and within the general show title yeah, removing that that's also removed cool so let's go and put it right there now we need to align it a little bit with the uh with the background of it so what we can do is first of all or in it don't need to show labels well it is coming as 4400 so let's put it near to the 4400 by dragging it so uh, 4400 should be somewhere down here but let's select some of the department which is admin 550 and here in this case 550 is should be a little bit ahead of it so i'm just searching for okay uh maybe here uh let's say in finance in finance you have expense 1200 target 1200 so that's a good idea what we can do is we can we need to do a little bit of adjustment and after that we should be okay so 1200 operations uh, expense is 450 and 400 target so that looks quite okay now finally production within the production we have 700 as the expense and target is 750 so that also looks okay to me and for sales finally we have 1500 as an expense and 1800 target so here we have the target 1800 and that is right after 1400 we have the values like 1500 so that should look so after this our chart is looking okay and uh, that's how very easily we can go and mimic the uh, what is present here as a stiff few bullet chart all right so that's pretty much all i wanted to show you in this video and i'll meet you in a new video with a new topic